welcome to my recent pickups volume 2 and 25 subscriber special so I would like to first start off by thanking my 25 subscribers well actually I have 26 now but I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and I really didn't think anyone would actually subscribe to me when I started this so I'm just thank you all very so much and I'll put all your names up in the end alright so let's get started with the um, pickups I've collected these over the past month not just Christmas, uh, also my birthday and other things. So I'm gonna get started. I got. Hang on, it's a Safari Hunt, the combo cartridge. I actually got it complete. Manual, game. And it actually came with a cool poster from 1986. Sega. I'm gonna have to zoom out to show it. Take hold of the Sega Adventure. Now there's also something on the other side, which is an advertisement for all the games I had. And Sega's thing at this point was, now there are no limits. Which it says, right there, now there are no limits. Because you're playing on the Sega Master System. Well that's that. Got that hanging up in my room, because it's cool. So next, my uh, friend Tim Uffins Band gave me for Christmas and my birthday together. Still has yet to give me the charger for it. Which is the original model DS. The screen is pretty scratchy, I think you can see right here. But it still plays Game Boy Advance games and it's light, so maybe I'll get the screen replaced because I don't sell these anymore. That's pretty cool. Next, I've been looking for this for a while. Sonic Adventure 2 on the Dreamcast. Pretty cool, it's actually... Uh, Pretty different from the Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Good game. Good game. And next is another one, closer to my Sonic game completion. Sonic 3D Blast on the Saturn. It's basically the same game, replacing Sonic Extreme. People were kind of depressed to get this. Not exactly the best of games, but the music's better than the uh, Genesis version. Speaking of the Genesis, I've got a fighting stick. I saw this at 10 bucks for at Play and Trade, and I'm like, 10 bucks, this, I might as well get it. So I'm gonna get a 32x um, fighting game sometime, for Retro Fighter 2 probably, and try it out. I mean, it works, all the buttons work, it's got turbos, and I don't know what this thing does. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a piece of heavy metal, too. I mean, look at the bottom, it's just crazy, and it's even got little feet. But it sticks. Now I've got two consoles that I have gotten recently, which there's only one of them's old and one of them is new. I got a TurboGrafx-16, 1989 in America. Apparently, it's recommended. It plays little Hue card games, and also was the first system to have a CD add-on, and also the first 16-bit system. It's got here's your RF out and your AV in. They were oddly placed, it's kind of weird. There's also a turbo tap, not a turbo tap, a uh, turbo booster which goes on the back and will actually let you have stereo audio and video. Now those usually go for 30 to 50 dollars on eBay, so pretty much two to three times as much as I paid for this. Also with it I got a TurboGrafx-16 carrying case. It's uh, one of the old models because there was there's no space for the CD add-on. Uh, opens up, and you have space for the console. And on the back there it says, it's kind of hard to see this. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There's a spot here for the turbo tap, or not the turbo tap, the uh, turbo booster is what it says. Here's the master unit goes here. It sits on top. All the wires go below it. There's the audio, video, and the AC adapter. Games go in here, controllers go in here, TurboTap goes here, that's where it goes. And I got this whole TurboGrafx-16 thing for 25 bucks on eBay, that's pretty. That's a good deal I would say. Especially since the guy was selling it for $70 the next day. Now with my TurboGrafx, I also got a controller. You know, the two button is kind of bad, you saw it in my Mad Marauders video, I was playing it, you Gears War 2. <laughs> Oh, I, I guess a couple people noticed. 
And the weird thing is it uses this old DIN port. Now, this port is actually heavier than the controller. Believe it or not. I don't know what they were thinking, it's just crazy. Now, the final server graphics thing is the game I got with it, R-Type, said to be the hardest uh, shoot -em up there is. Tiny little thing, it's just so small, it's really cool. It's a cue card. See, cue card, TurboGrafx-16. And it's just slightly bigger than a credit card. It actually fits in my wallet if I wanted to take it around, but I wouldn't put it in my wallet because it might get bent or something. That's not good for it. Okay, now finally, this is something new I got for, uh... Christmas and birthday together. Xbox 360. And I got it with the, um, my parents got me a 60 gig hard drive, and I bought the wireless adapter myself. Overall, I'm very pleased with this purchase. It was, uh, I bought the Xbox for 200. My parents bought me the hard drive for, I don't know how much they bought the nice thing. I got Xbox Live. So for those of you who um, would like to play me on Xbox Live, my gamer tag is Joey19990. So uh, send me a friend request and also send me a message telling me who you are that you heard about me from that you heard about my gamer tag from this video, and I will probably accept your request. I'm just gonna put this down here because it's kind of heavy. Okay, so obviously with it, I got a controller, and I also have a headset, but I'm not going to show that because it's kind of pointless. I also got free with my Xbox, Modern Warfare 2. I've been playing that. Good game, I mean, I I really didn't think it was a good game until I actually played it. So I'm, I'm really pleased with this. Now, one of my friends is letting me borrow some of his games, like uh, Oblivion. Not my kind of game, but... Uh, Tim Muffin's man likes it, so he's been playing it. And Fallout 3, now this is a good game too. I'm actually, after this, I'm going to show some gameplay from most of the stuff I've got that's new. Because it's, there's some good stuff here.